Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I'm, I'm rising today to speak to Bill 24, an act to amend the Business Corporations Act. And unfortunately, this morning the government tabled a motion that will limit debate to 12 hours for several bills, both at second reading stage at committee. Looks like maybe they, want to, they don't want to come back next week. I don't know. And, um, and so, Mr. Speaker, what that means is we have significant legislation. This legislation is over 120 pages, and we know that we need to spend time looking at legislation, being able to ask questions. It'd be nice if we could ask questions of subject matter experts as well, Mr. Speaker, but the way this legislature is, be is running, it's as if the legislature is in the way of the government. Oh, we, we have certain things we want to do. We don't really care what all the members of the legislature think. We want to ram things through. This is not the first time a time allocation uh, motion has been used, and it's, it's really um, it's stifling our democracy. That's not the way things should work here in the legislature, Mr. Speaker. And so we're looking at this <clears throat> significant legislation to modernize the Business Corporations Act. This is um, highly technical. It is um, very detailed, and it's, um, frankly, it, it is long overdue, but we should be able to take the time to, to look at it, and we should have the opportunity to ask questions to, to those who are subject matter experts. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, that is not the situation that we are in today. And so I, I, have, I have plenty of questions, but I, I find myself paying extra attention to the clock because I want to make sure that there is enough time for us to consider all of these bills when they get to economic policy. And so the, literally the debate is being cut short because of this government's actions. And that is unacceptable, Mr. Speaker. But what will happen? Um, in terms of the, you know, there's, there's talk of, of really important things in here. For example, looking at illicit financial activities, money laundering, fraud, tax evasion. Uh, we, we need to have the chance to make sure that proper measures are being taken. We know that they took a half measure when it came to the beneficial um, ownership registry, and it would have been nice for us to hear from subject matter experts. And what we know is that they probably would have recommended that it be public, but it was not made public, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, and so we need to have that opportunity to hear from those experts, and we need to have the time to really look through and make sure that the appropriate measures are being taken, that they're not half measures. It does need to be modernized, but we need a chance to look at all the details, uh, Mr. Speaker. There, there, as, as I said, this is, this is a lengthy bill. Um, There'll be many questions at committee, but, uh, but they'll be budgeted between different bills because we're already probably down below 10 hours of what we're allowed to debate so, in, in terms of several bills. Um, and so, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I, I will budget my time, save it for, for, um, for committee, but I do um, want to end by, by proposing a motion. And so again, I would prefer that we could just call experts to Economic Policy Committee. I would be very open to that, but in the absence of that opportunity, I move, seconded by the member for Fredericton South, that the motion for second reading be amended by deleting all words after the word that and substituting the following. Bill number 24, an act to amend the Business Corporations Act, be not, re excuse me, be not now read a second time, but that the order for second reading be discharged and subject matter of the bill referred to the Standing Committee on Law Amendments. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.